Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and guess what time it is, guys? Oh. Is it kazoo time? <laughs> Oops! <laughs> no, Toby, it's craft time! Ah! Avocado, check. Knife, check. Let's cut this bad boy open. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that slid right off. Here's our tray thing. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put this through. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Whoa. And. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely uh, in pieces now. <laughs> Let's try the other side. Push that in. Oh yeah, that's definitely working. That's perfect. Whoa. Yeah, pieces are all cut up. Well guys, I guess we can tell it works. Uh, now I'm just kind of left with this dirty tray and a bunch of mashed up avocado pieces. <sighs> okay, time for me to clean this up. Okay, so here's our McDonald's. Here are our fries. Oh man, I wish the box would have came out with it. Oh well. Napkins, who the heck needs those? Put all these in here. Okay, so here are our fries. As you can see, very normal, very lame. Wow, these don't look appetizing at all. I mean, considering I've had these since yesterday, um, they really don't look appetizing. Let's see if we can fix that. So just dump all those out. We don't need these right now. We get our foam. Just cut our foam like that. Oh no. Woo. Get out of here, foam. Then we get our toothpicks. Let's make sure that this fits in here first. Oh, no, it doesn't. Break that off. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, yeah, perfect. So we're just gonna stab a bunch of toothpicks in here. Just like that. Okay, cool. Now let's add the french fries. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now let's just put this in here. Oh my gosh, look how appetizing these french fries look now. Here's the before, and now here's the after. I don't know, I mean, I guess it looks a lot better, so I guess we can say this one works. A lot more dangerous though, because I don't want to eat a toothpick. Or styrofoam. Okay, so here's our crock pot. Here are our eggs. Let's just go ahead and throw these in there. Okay, looks good. Let's go ahead and grab our Mixitron 5000. Oh, yeah, that looks good. And then we need some carbonated water. Here's our carbonated water. Just gonna go ahead and put that in there. I'm not sure why this is a like big component of this, but I guess it is. Then we need some salt and pepper. Then uh, do it. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in for a little bit and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so it's been about three hours. Let's see how this looks. Oh, oops. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look bad so far. It's actually cooked, so that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and try it out. Oh, that sounds so gross. Uh, it kind of looks cooked. It's a little bit runny. It's very uh, soft and fluffy though, so that's kind of cool. Let's try it. I mean, it's okay. It's not like the best thing I've ever had. I think the fact that I put strawberry water in there made it taste a little bit weird, but you gotta work with what you got, I guess. Well, I guess we could say it works. So for this one, I'm gonna need a can. But all I have is this half-drank monster. And it's almost eight o'clock at night. What am I supposed to do? Hey, Toby. Yeah? Do you think you can help me drink this monster? Oh, I sure can. <laughs> oh, Toby, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. I, I guess I drank it a little too fast. Yeah. I, uh, I guess so. Anyway, now that we have a can of empty monster, we can try this. Here we go. It's time to operate. Oh man, this doesn't seem dangerous at all. Here's our new antenna booster. It looks clean, it looks crisp, it looks great. Uh, I'm sure it'll look OEM as, as frick. OEM means like original manufacturer made it for the router. I'm, I'm just joking, I don't know. Okay, let's test this puppy out. Okay, so I'm out in my driveway right now. I don't really have any reception out here. I have two bars on my Wi-Fi. I can't really show you. Can you see that? Anyway, let's go put the thing on and see if it works. Okay, so here's our router. Uh, wait, where am I supposed to put this thing? Um. I don't think that's right. Like that? Like that. Yeah, it looks good. Let's see if this works. Okay, how are we doing? I still have two bars. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay, I'm gonna go outside, it's dark out here. Okay, 
Okay, so here's our hangers. Uh oh, they aren't broken yet. Uh, let's fix that. Oh no! Gotta break this one. Wait, do I gotta? I don't have to break another one. That'd be wasteful. And I gotta break it again right here. Ugh. And again, and this one. Ugh. Gosh, this is harder than I thought. Let's bring out this bad boy. <laughs> Yeah, that's not working. Don't throw knives, kids. That's not safe. Maybe pliers? Oh, yeah. We did it! Woo! Okay, cool. Here's my makeup box that I use. So I guess we're just gonna glue it on like that. I have to dump all my makeup out. Get out of here! So we're just gonna start off with this side. So it goes on like that. Yeah, hot glue this bad boy on. Oh man, I'm really good at this, as you can tell. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, oh! Ah! Of course it wouldn't be a Robbie video unless I burn myself with a hot glue gun. Of course it wouldn't be. Just gonna fill that in so that's nice and secure. Ah! Ah! So hot, 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 hot. Yeah, this side's looking uh, pretty good. Next side! Hot glue all over this guy. There we go. Ah! Looking pretty good. Let's just let this cool for a little bit and then we'll try it out. So it's all cooled off. Let's try it out. Okay, I really hope that I made this the right space. I didn't even think about that when I was making it. So it's just gonna slip on. Oh no! Oh! Cool. I mean, it kind of works. That's kind of cool. Just gonna go ahead and put all my makeup and stuff in there. Wow, look, it's actually still holding it. Well, I guess we can say it works. So first thing we're gonna need is sunflower oil. Just gonna go ahead and put some of that in there. Oh, I need to take off the cap first. There we go. That ought to do it. Now we add our food coloring. Okay, now for blue, let's do a little bit of green. Okay, that should be good. Now we gotta go and mix this up. Yeah, that looks uh, great. Then we just take our little cup of water and put that in there. Oh man, that looks awful. Well guys, I guess we could say that it, it works. No, I'm just kidding, this doesn't work at all. This isn't working correctly. I'm gonna say that this one isn't, uh, this one doesn't work. <laughs> Let's make a watermelon basket, shall we? Here's my knife. I'm just gonna, oops. So I have to cut this in half like that. And then gotta do this. Come on, here we go. There we go. I'm gonna make this handle extra thick. That way it doesn't break. There we go. Don't need that anymore. Not looking bad so far. And then we just cut this part out. There we go. Now I just gotta cut the inside up. Get out of there. Dump all these out. We don't need all this. Yeah, just hollow this puppy out. Now for the other side. Ugh. Slice like that. And another. And another. Here we go. Yeah, now we have a perfect basket that we can hold. Now we just gotta put all this back in here. Ah, yes, perfect for any occasion. A watermelon basket. Just hold it like there. Well, guys, I guess we can say it works. What am I supposed to do with all this watermelon? <sighs> oh, well. <laughs> Okay, let's hollow out another watermelon, shall we? Let's cut off the top. Okay, get that off. Cool, cool. Hollow it out with the Mixitron 5000. Check it in there. Awesome, stuck with all this juice again. I really wish I had a use for all this juice. Okay, almost done. Now we're stuck with all this juice. Awesome. Put that off to the side. Now it's time to carve our jack-o'-lantern face. Break out the old X-Acto knife. Here we go, just put a square there. One. Okay, here we go. And just push that out. And hopefully, yep, it's not coming out. Okay, maybe just cut some of these bad boys out. Come on. There we go. Pop that out. Woo! We did it! And here's our jack-o'-lantern. It's a little bit funny looking, but that's fine. Okay, put our top back on. Looks good. It's a little bit off center, and now it keeps falling backwards. Oh, we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and add a candle to it. Let's hope I don't burn myself. Come on. I did it! Cool! Let's turn off all the lights. Put the top back on. Oh, that makes it a little back heavy. There we go. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. This is a very inefficient jack-o'-lantern, and I feel like a pumpkin would last a lot longer than a watermelon. But if this is what you want to do, I mean, you can do it. It does work. So here's our toothbrush, and as you can see, it is very messed up, very well used. I definitely didn't brush it against concrete just to do this. Let's see if it gets any better when I put it in a cup of boiling water. Just pour that in. Let it sit. 
swoosh it around for a sec and let the boiled water do the rest of its magic. Okay, let's go ahead and take this out. Wow, yeah, these definitely look a lot straighter now. I think this might also sanitize it since, you know, you're boiling it. So I guess we're gonna have to say this one works. Okay, so here's our image. Let's go ahead and cut it out. Here we go. Okay, now we gotta try and get it out without ripping it. And I guess we'll glue this on. Uh, let me get a glue stick. Where the heck are my glue sticks? Okay, I can't find any glue sticks, so we're just gonna use some super glue instead. I'm sure this won't end terribly. Well, it looks like our super glue doesn't work. I'm gonna go get another pack. Here we go. There we go, put that on there. Finally, we can put our th thing on. I'm just gonna say that this is definitely gonna stay on when I put it on. All I have to do is make sure not to get it on my fingers because this stuff does not come off. Ah. See if I can do this. One, two, and... Okay, no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, okay, we did it. Put it all down. Now it's time to drip some crayons. I gotta take all the papers off first. Probably should have done this beforehand, oops. Okay, we got all those off. Uh, let's go ahead and try this. So I guess we'll start from lightest to darkest. Uh, do I have a yellow, actually? Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a yellow. We're gonna put that in there. I need to get a pencil or something. I feel like there's still glue in this guy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try and get all that out. I'm just gonna put a pencil in there, and maybe that'll work. So I gotta push it a little bit. Ah! Okay, cool, we got some yellow coming out. There's definitely some glue stuck in there, though. Um, where we put the yellow, and we're gonna put some of this orange. Um, now we gotta try and make it look like she's spitting color. Come on. I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly push it out. Oh my gosh. This is such a mess. I don't know how they did this. It's like coming out of the back right here. Ah! Come on. Oh my god. Oh, that's such a mess. I definitely ruined this glue gun, that's for sure. <laughs> That sounds so gross. Maybe if I put some hot glue in there, I think that might do something. Let's try it. Oh, it's kind of working. Come on, come on. I gotta put something underneath it. Yeah, there we go. I gotta make it look like she's spitting color. Come on. Ah! They definitely make this look easier than it really is. Oh gosh. Now it's just spitting out hot glue. Ah! I'm gonna put some purple in there. Maybe that will do something. Maybe I have to let it slowly drip out. Oh, we got purple coming out. Very little purple though. Oh. I think I may have just broken this glue gun. Oh my gosh. Maybe like this? Okay, oh, it's coming out. Oh, it's working. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. I got hot glue all over my hand. Oh my gosh, that really hurt. Woo! Ow, dude, that freaking stings. Oh, I got it all over the glue gun. This doesn't look like it's working too well. Yeah, it looks great. Honestly, it looks fantastic. I mean, besides messing up the glue gun, I guess we're gonna have to this one works. Here's our row, here's my plant. This is Tuss, I don't know if any of you guys would really remember this guy. So it looks like we have to go and make the Airbnb symbol, and then we have to twist it right here. Okay, I think I already cut this uh, too short. Okay, so up here, like that, and then that right there, and then this goes under here, and then over, and oh my gosh, this is so confusing. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then just like that, we have our very own, come on, please work. Oh, I didn't do it right. It's gonna take me a couple tries for this one. So you sit over there, so you start, Make the Airbnb sign and right on the cross you put this guy and then this goes through here and then this guy goes here And these go through here just like that. We should <gasps> it actually holds him. It's holding tight. Wow This actually works. Well guys, I guess we have to say this one works So here's our water filter. Here's our Mountain Dew. Let's go ahead and take this top off. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put that in there. Oh, that is definitely leaking out red. Oh my gosh. This is already not working. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah, that's definitely not working. Oh, that's black. Is that, is that, what is that? I did buy this Brita water filter at a yard sale, so I don't doubt that this is disgusting. Is that black mold? Did they really sell me a water filter with black mold in it? That's disgusting. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say this one doesn't work. Oh, 
Okay, now that I have this half-eaten baked potato, which was delicious, by the way, we're gonna go ahead and see if this works. So I think they put one inside out like this. Yeah, looking good. Put that in there, and we're like, oh no, our baked potato, it's too big. Actually, it fits in the bag perfectly. Uh, just pretend with me here, guys. It's just too big for this bag. This baked potato is way too big for this bag. So then we're gonna do this. Uh, come on. <gasps> it's sticking. I feel like I need practice for this or something. Okay, maybe I have to switch them. Okay, now it's not sticking at all. What am I supposed to do here? This is ridiculous. Just stick on there. Oh my goodness. Just buy bigger bags next time, guys. Oh, this is aggravating. Okay, I can't get it to freaking stick, okay? One side does it, but the other side doesn't because how it's made. I'll try it one more time. I just want to put my baked potato away so that it doesn't become bad. <gasps> oh, I got the stick. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. Oh. Okay, we got it to stick together. Well, guys, I guess we can say it works. It's just very time consuming, though. I spent five minutes doing this. Now let's try to open it up. Oh yeah, that's some nice baked potato. Mm, yummy. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Here's our box. Here's the cup I'm gonna use. Let's go ahead and draw some circles, shall we? One right there. This side looks good. I'm ready to do this side. Next side. So it'll be like that. Yeah, I think that might work. Next, I need to cut the circles out. Woo. This is definitely the correct way to cut this. No, it's not. I need to fix this. Maybe we'll get some GoPro shots in here. Oh, hey, how's it going? You can tell I really tried on that one. Okay, let's get all this junk out. Don't need any of that. Now we gotta add all the cups. That one kind of fits. Oh no. I think I was actually supposed to cut out the bottom of these two. It's gonna take forever. Maybe if I put all the cups kind of in one spot and then try and cut out the bottom, it'll work. Oh man, these bottoms really cut really easily. Ooh, that kind of worked. Add some more. This is actually working. Woo, yeah, that ought to do it. Put this in here. Okay, glue gun's all warmed up. Here we go. Here we go. Now we gotta wait for this to cool. Okay, glue's all cooled. Uh, let's put our phone in this bad boy. I forgot to cut the hole. Let's do that right now. I'm never gonna find that. Oh, okay, so right here. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's put some tunes on. Oh, wait, I can't actually play any good music because I'll get copywritten. Let's look up some royalty-free music. Okay, so that's just playing out of my phone. Let's see how it sounds now. I don't know, I feel like this kind of sounds the same. Maybe if I put my whole phone in there, because I think there's speakers on both sides. Okay, so we're just gonna... Oh, that sounds a lot louder. I just realized I can't get it out now. How am I supposed to get it out? I didn't think about this. Well, it looks like we have to operate. I'll save you, Bob! Where are you? Ah, oh, get out of there! Why did I do this to myself? Okay, let's try it again. You tell me which one do you think is louder. You ready? It kind of sounds the exact same. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, uh, it doesn't work, guys. I don't think it does, but it looks pretty cool. I mean, now I have like a weird boom box thing. I don't even know what you would call this, but I have it now, it's cool. So thanks a bunch, Five Minute Crafts. Okay, so here's our nice and refreshing Coca-Cola. Not sponsored, by the way, guys. I wish I was sponsored by Coke. That would be cool. We get our chopsticks. Apparently, we're just supposed to put it like that. And then we push up. You ready? One, two, and pow. One more time. One, two, and oh, almost. Ooh, we're kind of chipping a little bit here. Okay, ready? One, two, and I'm kind of scared. This is kind of scary. One, two, and Okay, I'm gonna try it with the back part. I think the chopsticks have to be like stuck together, but I don't have any of those. These are the only ones I have. I don't want to hit my hand on the sharp part, so. One, two, and. Ah! Why isn't this working? I'm gonna go ahead and try it with a screwdriver instead. One, two, three, and. Oh, it almost did it. One, two, and. Oh, oh no! It's exploding! It's exploding! It did open though! <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, here we go. One, two, and. Man. One, two, and. Ah! One, two, and. Uh, Let's finish it off with these chopsticks. This is so much harder than I thought it would How be. How the heck am I supposed to hold this? One, two, and... Uh, okay, I can't seem to get this to work. 
Okay, so I'm having a really hard time with this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that for the average person, we can't really just do this on the first try, uh, but with some practice, I'm sure you can do it. So I'm gonna say, this kinda works. Here's my favorite method of opening a bottle. You ready? You put it on the table, and then you just go. Ugh. Now that's how you open a bottle. Here's our hair tie. It's actually kind of hard to get it through the air vent and then just like stick my finger in there. So I'm gonna have to use my keys or something. Here we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, got it. And all we have to do is put our phone in there. Woo! There we go. Big speed, turn off. We don't want you right now. Well guys, I guess we can say it works! Although my recommendation, come on, get this out of here. Instead of going through all that, all you have to do is- got our wires crossed. Shut up, Big Speed! Instead of going through all that, all you have to do is put Velcro on the back of your phone and then Boom! It sticks! Easy peasy. Robbie Life Hacks! You're welcome! That's my version of this one. Well, don't need this anymore. You're weak. <laughs> Guys, you'll never guess what this next hack is. You guessed it! A watermelon hack! So let's just cut off the top. Maybe I gotta go for this more like a jack-o'-lantern kind of top. Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay. Looks like we got a lot of good stuff in here. Let's cut it all out. Oh. Let's see, will that all come out? Nope, not looking good. Oh, got a little piece. I think I gotta do this more. Or even better, I can break out our old friend, the Mixitron 5000. Shove that in there, and then here we go. Oh, man. Oh, no. Okay. Got all the good juices. Oh, no. It looks like <laughs> looks like this thing kind of broke off a little bit. I need to replace this anyway. I've used it for so many things. We'll just go ahead and pop in a new one. There we go. Let's try this again. Oh, much better. So much watermelon juice in this. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We've now liquefied all of our watermelon juice. Let's just go ahead and dump it out. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, just like a pumpkin. Oh, got a couple of these guys in there. Wouldn't want to choke on one of those. Okay, now we'll get our dispenser. Can I take that off? Now I have to drill a hole that will fit this. So, uh, yeah, this looks like it'll do. Put the Mixitron 5000 away. And we break out our drill. As you can see, it's a lot different than the Mixitron 5000. Don't get them mixed up. They're completely different tools. I'm gonna go ahead and say about right here. Here we go. And we're just gonna tap it. Screw this in. Oh, man. Get in there. We're trying not to break the watermelon. Just slowly but surely screw it in. And it will hopefully not break. Oh, I think I did it. It worked. Okay, now I'm gonna try and screw the back part on really quick. See if I can do this without messing everything up. It was actually going on for a second. Come on. You can do it. And I think we're good. Woo! Awesome. I made a dispenser. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a little stand. Then we're gonna fill it with our Coca-Cola. Let's hope this doesn't leak everywhere. Here we go. I think I might need a little bit more. You know what? Let's just add some of this watermelon juice in there. What could hurt it? Am I right? Oh, that's disgusting. Watermelon Coke. Am I right, guys? Man, this looks so gross. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now let's put our top on. There we go. Oh, got a little bit coming out there. Does it dispense? Let me see. It actually comes out. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it recommended that we chill it for a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer, and I'll try it in like 20 minutes. Okay, it's been a little bit over an hour. Let's test this out. I need a cup. So here we go. I'm gonna try this. Oh, it's actually dispensing. That's kind of crazy. I think that it might be getting a little bit clogged from the watermelon, um, but overall, this idea definitely works. Let's see if this watermelon Coke is any good. It's not bad, but it's not great either. This would definitely be like a fun novelty thing I would bring to a party, uh, but I probably wouldn't put the watermelon chunks back in there. Maybe we just gotta mix it up a little bit. Come on, you got this dispenser. Oh, it's not even coming out at all now. Well, I tried, and that's all that matters. But I guess we can say this one works! Okay, so it looks like we have to start out with some pre-painted nails, so let's go ahead and paint my nails a little bit. I am a master at painting my nails, guys. I've done it at least uh, two times. Here we go. Man, I actually kind of hate the smell of nail polish. It always burns my nose. I just have to let this sit and dry for a second. Okay, so here's our newspaper, and I actually already cut out some of the ones that I'd want. This is a classic barcode, a word search, and one dollar off. Here's some vodka. By the way, guys, I don't drink. Uh, I don't really endorse drinking. Drinking is not fun. So we just dip our finger in there for a sec, and we pull it out. Now, apparently, we're just supposed to let this dry. So I'll see you in a sec when this dries, okay? Okay, so I let it dry a little bit, and it looks like, uh, I don't know, it just kind of looks funny. I don't really I really think this one works. We'll go ahead and try this again. I'm gonna go ahead and leave my finger in the vodka for a little bit longer. Okay, now let's try the word search. Go ahead and plop that on there. And just wait again for that to dry. 
it looks like it kind of worked again. We got like the boxes, but it's not like super prominent. I'm gonna try it one more time with the $1 off. So we're just gonna put our finger in there, let it soak for a sec, and we take it out. And we're just gonna plop this $1 right on there. Maybe I'm gonna put some more vodka on there. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, really get it in there. I can see straight through the paper now. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and uh, I'll let you guys know what happens. Okay, so this is fairly dry. Uh, let's see how it turned out. Wow, I can actually see the $1 on there. It's not like super clear, but I mean, it's actually on there. Well guys, I guess we said this one works. Okay, so here are our eggs. Let's just take these out. And we gotta get the yolk out. So I'm just gonna get this bowl. And maybe we'll get these scissors. I'll just kind of poke the top a little bit. Come on, here we go. Oh no. I'll be really careful not to break the egg. Yeah, that should be good enough. We're just gonna break the yolk inside. Pour that out. We don't need that yolk. Okay, so here's one. Let's do one more for good luck. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these out. And then uh, let's put some wax in them. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this part right here. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna use these to actually hold our eggs. It doesn't have to be super fancy, it just kinda has to work. Let's go ahead and put our wicks in. Boop, boop, awesome. I'm also gonna go ahead and make like a funnel thing. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but I'm hoping. Maybe if I make like a funnel like this. Come on. I'm gonna go ahead and tape it so it stays in place. Yeah, there we go. That's one. Make another funnel. Okay, put that in there. Looks good. Now let's try and dump some wax into this. I feel like this isn't gonna be the smoothest transition because uh, wax doesn't like to pour out of this pan very well. Oh man, here I'll show you. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be so hard. Ah, ah no! Stay! It just doesn't want to get inside the egg. I'm going through so much wax. How am I supposed to pour this? I just don't know. Maybe if I use a ladle? Okay, that kind of works better. I'm at least getting some of it in. Oh, I think I just filled the egg. The next one. Oh my god, this is so messy. It's bubbling out of this egg. Oh my goodness. Ah! Getting this everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna top this egg off. Okay. Oh my god, this egg's exploding. Whoa, what happened? Oh my god. All the wax just like came out like a volcano. This is definitely way. Oh my god, it happened again. Why isn't this working? Okay, we'll try it again. Ready? Use a ladle. Oh my god. I got more on the counter than I got in the egg, that's for sure. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and let these uh, cool down for a little bit and we'll see if they're any good. Okay, honestly, uh, this has been cooling for so long and it's still like liquid. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge and uh, see what happens. Okay, so our eggs are all cooled off. Let's go ahead and try and break these puppies out. Here we go. I have to try not to break the wax inside, so I'm gonna be really careful here. Okay, not too bad so far. This kinda looks a little gross. Okay, this one doesn't look too bad. I forgot to, <laughs> oh no, no way to, oh well. Whatever, next one, come on. Oh, this one cracked right open. Whatever, that's fine. Let's go ahead and light these puppies. They don't seem to want to stay lit. Oh yeah, oh, there we go. Thought I was gonna have to break out the blowtorch there for a second. Yeah, so so far they're staying lit. Uh, let's turn off all the lights and see how these guys look. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Well guys, I guess we're gonna say this one works. There's our avocado. Time to cut him in half. Ah! Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Ah. Good, good, good. Now we're gonna cut open a lemon. Yeah. Then we're gonna squeeze all this on. Yeah, there we go. I think I might've put a little too much. Throw it in this bag. Okay, I'll see you bright and early tomorrow, Mr. Avocado. And these are our results. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this one out of the packaging. I think I might have accidentally froze it. But as you can see, uh, I don't know. They look about the same. This one does have a little bit more brown on the inside. A little bit more yellow. This one is also like frozen solid now, so. I'm not sure if this one really counts. <laughs> I have a better solution, guys. Instead of covering it lemon and putting it in a bag, you can just freeze them. They'll last forever. Bottom line, guys, my life hack is better. Even though I did it on accident. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this would work. Okay, so here's our burger. Granted, it's not gonna look very good because I bought this yesterday. Oh man, there's literally nothing in there. This is like a piece of meat, no cheese, what, like one pickle. Oh my goodness. This is a really not very good looking burger. Thanks McDonald's. Okay, so this is our burger. So this is before, very flat. You can't even see the meat really. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try and improve this bad boy. So first we're gonna start by taking off the top bun and we're gonna get our skewers. Just gonna open that up real quick. Yeah, perfect. Then we get our blowtorch. Just kind of heat that up. Real good. Okay, let's see if this does anything. You ready? 
Oh, I hear sizzling. I hear the sizzle. Okay, not bad. Ooh, that makes it smell pretty good. Okay, let's do this again. I'm just gonna have to keep heating this thing up until I get all the grill marks. Okay, grill mark number two. Oh yeah, that sounds like a well charcoal burger. Okay, next. Yeah, and that ought to do it. Now for the next step. We add the cheese. Here's our cheese. Oh man, that is way too big for our burger. <laughs> oh well, good enough. Maybe we'll cut it down for size. Here we go. I'm just gonna... There we go. Yeah, that looks way better. Don't need that anymore. They technically added two pieces of cheese, but I feel like one is fine. Now I'm gonna go get my lettuce. This is actually Koopa's food. Uh, thanks for letting me borrow some of this, Koops. I really appreciate it. For the most part, all I have is spinach, so I guess that's kind of what's going on there, guys. Spinach burger. I wonder why that's not a thing. Why don't they serve a spinach burger at McDonald's? I don't know. Dude, that looks so much more appetizing now. Oh, let's supposed to add the toothpicks. Okay, I gotta go get the toothpicks back. Okay, we're back with our toothpicks. I just need a couple of these. So I'm just gonna lightly stab it like that. Yes, perfect. I I feel like these toothpicks might be a little bit too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tips off. Then we gotta get our tomato. Let's go ahead and break out our cutting board. Yeah, perfect. Now we're just gonna slice this baby up. That is one thick tomato. Oops, maybe I can slice it a little thinner. That's a little better. Yeah, there we go. That's a good looking tomato slice. I mean, a little bit light, but I mean, it works. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this on our burger. Yeah, not bad so far. Then all we gotta do is put the bun on to top it off. Oh no, our bun's a little bit ripped, but that's fine. Oh yeah, now that's what I call a good looking burger. So let's show the before, and this is the after. It's very deadly though. I wouldn't recommend eating it because there's toothpicks in here. <laughs> but in case you do, watch my other video over here to see how to remove a splitter. Spoiler alert, it doesn't actually work. But it's still fun to watch, so go do that. Well, guys, I guess we can tell it works! Okay, so I actually went ahead and bought some uh, canned pineapple because regular pineapple is actually out of season right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and open this up. Don't eat that. I said I don't eat that! Get the heck out of here! Okay, thank you. Ooh, this looks delicious. Here's our cupcake tray. Just gonna go ahead and put them on here just like that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good. Okay, looks like we're too short. Uh, I'm gonna go pop these puppies in the oven. Okay, here we go. Okay, so 120 degrees. And we're gonna pop them in there. You guys be good. I'll see you in about 20 minutes. We'll see what happens then. Uh, let's see what it looks like now. Dang, these just don't wanna like dry. This is crazy. Okay, so it's been on 300. It's been like 45 minutes. They're still not dry. I don't know what the heck's going on. Okay, gave it another 20 minutes. How are we? Oh, they're almost actually dry. It only took an hour and a half. Let's look at these puppies upstairs. So here's our pineapples. I mean, they aren't perfectly dried like they are in the video, but it's pretty good. I like baked pineapples. They're not like ultra dried and it took like an hour and a half to really cook. I'd say if you really wanted to cook it all the way through, it would probably take closer to like two hours. Anyway, let's try this bad boy. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, I guess we could say it kind of works. Not 100% because it, it would have taken two hours to fully cook it. So uh, this kind of works, I guess. Oh, sorry guys. So here's our phone case. Well, not yet. Let me just, uh, oh, oops. There we go. Broke it a little bit. My bad. Uh, yeah. No. I'm gonna take the buttons off. Oh no. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, I'm just gonna, you just, over there for now. Do I tear this off? Do I, okay, that's coming off. You're also over there. Cool. So here's our photo. It's a pretty cringy old photo of me. I hope you guys enjoy this it. This is what we're gonna be using. That's my new phone screen protector background thing. I don't even know what to call this. So apparently we're just supposed to put some PVA glue in there. Well, on the photo. So kind of like that. Oh no, I think I was supposed to brush it on. Uh, will this work? I feel like that'll do something. I think it needs more. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna work. Wait, I was supposed to cut it first. Oh man, I'm just, I'm really feeling at this. Sorry guys. Okay, put that away for now. And we cut it to the shape of the phone. Maybe I should kind of have it at like this angle. I'm feeling that. Cut off my elbow a little bit. Just like that, yeah. A little crooked, but you know, it's fine. Now apparently we're just supposed to put this in there. Oh, yep, Houston, we have a problem. So I have to cut that little part out for the camera hole. Maybe more like, yeah, I think that should uh, that should do. Just push that in. Make sure it's nice and flat. Now apparently we're just supposed to let it dry for a little bit. So I'll see you when this bad boy's dry. Okay, it seems to be dry. Uh, let's see if we can get this bad boy to kind of fix itself with this uh, water and rag. I never really saw the point of this part. Like, I mean, you already glued it on. Why are we taking this part off? Do I need more water? 
<laughs> I put way too much. It's not doing the same thing the video did. What's happening? Oh, 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 this is coming off. And the whole picture is coming off now. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Okay, what the heck? Cool, it's a perfect photo of me still. Wipe all that off. Okay, we're gonna dry this off. Yeah, there we go. So I don't have that weird clear coat, whatever that is, but I do have green nail polish, so I guess uh, this will have to do. Glop it all on there, just like that. I feel like I'm probably not doing this right. But that's okay, because uh, do I do any of these right? At the bottom right here, it looks like it's coming off, so I don't know how well this is actually working. There we go. Now we're just gonna let this dry, and uh, I'll show you when we're done. Okay, so I actually got bored waiting for this to dry, so I'm gonna try a method that I found on Google on how to make your nails dry faster. All you gotta do is put the whatever it is in cold water. Then we're gonna let this sit there for two or three minutes, and then it'll be done. So I'll see you guys in two or three minutes. Okay, so I actually ended up leaving it for like an hour because I forgot about it, so this whole thing was pointless. But anyway, it still feels like it's not really like 100% dry. Maybe it works for just your nails, but not phone cases. Yeah, this looks great. What an awesome picture of me that's covered up by this light. Perfect. Well, guys, I guess we can say it works. I'm gonna give it to Tori. That way she has a phone case with my face on it. Oh, Tori Dabransky! I got you a very special present. What is it? It's a phone case with my face on it. Ew, it's wet. Yeah, Why it's, it's is still it wet? wet. It has to dry still. I just wanted to give it to you because I was excited. And I also didn't want to wait for this to dry a third time. It's a little bit uh, wet, but it's still good. Do you like it? Bobby, this, this doesn't even fit my phone. Well, I gotta go. I, I'm glad you liked it. Well guys, it's time to get my hair wet. It's been a while since I washed these clothes, so I might as well. Da, 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 da. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that ought to do it. <laughs> yeah, hair's looking pretty wet. Oh, even my beard is pretty wet. Oh boy. Oh, oh my god. Oh, got some water on there. Sorry guys. Okay, so my hair's nice and wet. We're gonna go ahead and put this shirt over my head. Just like in the video. Yeah, perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and get our hair dryer. Put this guy in the sleeve. Okay, let's hope I don't get shocked. I feel like this is a joke. I don't think that this will actually work. My head's getting so sweaty right now. How long am I supposed to do this for? Okay, I did that for like a minute or two. Okay, yeah, my hair is still very wet. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. Okay, so theoretically, yes, you could use two hair ties to just attach your dongle to your headphones, uh, but I have a better solution for you. See this iPhone? You don't need this. There's something way better where you don't even have to bother with that. It's called an Android. Just get an Android. That's my life hack for you. You're welcome. <laughs> have a good day. Here's our watermelon wedge. Oh no, I have no knife. Get that out of here. I don't have it at all. What am I supposed to do? Well, I have this dental floss. We just uh, do this, get some dental floss, and then apparently we're just supposed to go down like that. Okay, wow, looks like it's working so far. Yeah, okay, now for the hard part, guys. So we're just gonna uh, go underneath here. Come on, come on. This is harder than I thought. Ah, this is cutting my fingers. Keep going, keep going. We're almost in the home stretch. Woo, we did it. So apparently they just pushed it over like, like that, and they did like that. Ah, presentation is everything. Almost there. Oh yeah, perfect. Woo, it looks like I did it. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Man, I'm gonna be so sick of watermelon after this. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna have to put a hole in the wall. Piece paper. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of crumble it up in a ball a little bit. We're gonna push it in there. Maybe use like the zip tie to help push it in there a little bit. Okay, that's not working. I'm gonna try it with this pen. Let's yeah, kind of push this guy in there. Maybe cover it with some of the drywall that I just drilled out. Just like that. Okay, now let's let this dry. Okay, so I let it sit there for a little bit and it kind of looks like it does blend in actually. If you were to give this like a proper paint job, I would say that this would actually kind of work. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Here's our sandpaper. I'm just gonna go ahead and do something simple, like write my name. 
yeah, that looks good. Now we're gonna break out our shirt. This is a classic shirt that I got from that uh, craft convention down in San Diego. I've been at craft site it themselves, as you can see right there. I tried to remove it, but it didn't work. And now, uh, let's go ahead and put my name right underneath it. Then we get our hot iron. Just kind of put that on there. Woo! Yep, that's definitely hot. Oh my gosh. Is it working? Oh my gosh. Guys, it actually works. The only downside is uh, I accidentally put my name backwards. <laughs> I was supposed to write it the other way. Oh well. I mean, I tried. Well, guys, I guess we'd say that this one works. Here's our bottle. Here's our paper. Let's see if I can fold this to the point where I can open this bottle. I'm not sure how plausible this is gonna be, but I'm gonna try, okay? Maybe fold it like that. No matter what, I can't fold it more than seven times. It's just physically impossible. So I just folded it another time. That feels pretty solid. Okay, now let's try and open this. One, two, and... Ugh, almost. Probably not. One, two, and... Ugh. This is dangerous. It cut me. Ouch. Okay, try this again. One, two, and... Oh, nope, I don't know how the heck... How the heck did they do this? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. oh my gosh, it's opening. It's actually opening. Oh. Oh. I actually did it! I opened the bottle using paper! What? Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to see if this works. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Well, cheers. Okay, guys, so here's our mug. Here's our Sprite. Let's go ahead and put some of the Sprite in there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It exploded on me. Please don't explode. Please don't explode again. Okay. Let's pour that in there. I don't know. That's looking pretty fizzy to me. There we go. So this is before we add the aspirin. I feel like that's looking pretty fizzy. I don't know about you guys. And now this is after. Wow, yeah, that's definitely becoming more fizzy. Maybe if we mix it up a little bit. Oh man. Oh dude, that looks so cool. Ooh, oh my gosh, that is awesome. I did not do that on purpose. That looks amazing. Holy crud. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna keep mixing it. Dude, that is so sick. Oh my gosh. Holy, dude, can you guys see that? Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Whoa, dude, that looks so sick. Well, yeah, that definitely does look more fizzy. Anyway, this is after we put it in. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, please ignore these little scuff marks. I didn't want to get another background because that would be wasteful. So here's our chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up a little bit. So we're just gonna... Now that looks good. Then we're gonna put it in our jars. We don't need the cap because these are actually made out of plastic and I'm just gonna go ahead and put some tin foil over them. Yeah, that looks good. Ugh, it's all over my hands. Yeah, that's uh, that's good enough. Now I'm gonna put the aluminum foil on the top. There we go, looks good. Now for this guy. Oh, poked a hole. There we go. Now we gotta get our crock pot. Oh, here we go, put them in here. Now we need water. Here you go, drink up guys. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that ought to do it. Let's throw a lid on this guy. They didn't say how long we're supposed to do this for, so I'm just gonna do like half an hour. So I'll see you guys in like half an hour. Okay, half an hour's up. Let's go get it. Here we go. Take that off. Let's see how melted these guys are. One of them actually got tipped over, so uh, one has a bunch of water in it. And I think that's this one. Ew, that does not look very good. I put this off to the side for now. So that's a bad one. This is the good one that I did properly. Let's see. Oh, that's hot. Ow, ow. Let's see how melted this chocolate is. Here we go. And wow, that's actually pretty melted. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I think that actually worked. If I didn't get water in it, the other one would have probably worked too. So I guess we can say that this one worked. Okay, let's see if this works. This is how loud the music is outside the cup. That is noticeably louder. It doesn't sound very like equalized though. It sounds kind of off, but it does make it a little bit louder. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this works. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. So this one ought to be interesting. Let's see if it works. Here's our eyelash curler. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. So apparently we just put our lip in there. Uh, oh wait, I should have shown you guys my lips before. So here's my lips before. Not bad. They're okay, a little bit chapped, right? I think they're pretty plump already. Let's see if we can make it even more plump. Here we go. So they're just gonna, I think it's supposed to hurt, right? 
Okay, next one. I can't really, this one's harder to do. How am I supposed to do this one? There we go. Yeah, just like that. Oh, okay. So we just did it. This is our lips uh, before, and these are our lips after. Do they look any different? My lips do definitely feel a little bit swollen because I just pinched them. So I, I, I don't know if they really work. I feel like it does work. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this works, but it probably won't last for a very long time. I feel like my lips are gonna go back to normal like any minute now. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's our sweater. Oh, there we go. Here are our hair ties. Put them on our wrists. Put them on our other wrists. Now we're gonna work our way up our sleeve. And we're gonna make our way downtown. But in all seriousness, we're gonna make our way up these sleeves. Okay, good. So now we're just gonna pull these up. Aha! Uh -huh. Wow! My gosh, my sleeves are really staying up. Oh yeah. Well guys, I guess we can tell this one works. But it kind of feels like I'm losing circulation in my arms, so I'm gonna take these off. Here's another watermelon. Let's go ahead and cut this bad boy. Woo! Now we're gonna cut another one. Ugh, messed it up. Ugh. Woo! Okay, yeah, just get that out of there. So I don't have one of those circular cutter things, so I'm just gonna have to do this by hand. Yeah, that's kind of a circle. Let's go ahead and throw it on our plate. Then we get some whipped cream. Put some raspberries on top. Boom, we got ourselves a watermelon cake. Now let's try this bad boy. Cut there, got a nice solid slice right there. Yep, that's definitely how I thought it would taste. Fruit covered in whipped cream. I mean, if that's what they were going for, I guess we could say that this works. What a weird combination. Okay, so here's our tennis ball. All we gotta do is make a little hole in it. Here we go. Easy peasy. Oh man, kids, don't do this at home. I feel like I'm gonna stab my hand. Here we go. How big of a hole do I need? I'm just gonna go ahead and use these scissors, maybe. That'll be a little safer. There we go. Yeah, that looks like a decent sized little hole. Let's try it. So here's the adventure mobile. Let's go ahead and try this. Okay, so I have to try and unlock this door. Oh, it's not even locked. So I have to try and unlock my door with this tennis ball. One, two, and three. Try it again. One, two, and Nope. It doesn't look like uh, this is moving at all. So we gotta maybe. I don't know if this one actually works. Okay, let's keep trying it. One, two, and. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one doesn't work. So here's our coconut oil. Here's our bowl. Let's just, uh, there we go. Get a couple globs of it, uh, like that. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now let's go ahead and microwave this really quick. Okay, here we go. It's all hot. Let's make ourselves some super green lipstick. So I just have to take that off. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna put half the crayon in. Mix that in. Oh, I'll do the other half too, just in case. That's definitely melting in there pretty fast. Oh man, that is, de oh, it melted the spoon. Oh yeah, yeah, that's definitely hot. Now we're just gonna let this cool for a little bit and then we'll try it out. So I actually ended up putting this in the fridge for a little bit uh, to let it cool, but then it got rock hard. So what I did was I put it in the microwave to kind of melt it a little bit and uh, we're gonna go ahead and try this now. Okay, so here are my lips, so we're just gonna go ahead and glob some of this onto my finger, and then I'm just gonna... Ugh. Oh god, this does not feel nice. Uh, uh, uh. Oh god, this is disgusting. I don't like this at all. Ugh. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. <laughs> Here's our orange. Here's our straw. And we just kind of shove that straw... Oh, uh. Just shove that... Oh, it works! Okay, we shove the straw in there. We just kinda... Come on. Is it gonna work? Just gotta keep doing it. <gasps> I see juice coming out. <gasps> I squeezed it and a bunch flew out. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Now let's suck on this bad boy. Oh, that sounds so weird. Okay, now let's try this. <sighs> okay, I did get a little bit of juice. Maybe if we do it some more. Okay, let's try this. Oh, I got more juice. I mean, I did get juice, but it wasn't really a lot. So I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work like you'd think it would. <laughs> So this one looks simple enough. Here's our bowl. Here's our mashed potatoes. That looks like it'll be enough. Then we add some of our water. Let's mix this up. I think it needs some more. Oh, this smells so weird right now. I don't think I'm digging this at all. It smells so weird. It didn't say to cook it or anything, so I guess we just have to keep mixing it until it's like ice cream shaped. 
Maybe just a little tiny bit more water. Thank you to everyone who just said bless you. Man, this is taking forever. Ah, I'm getting it everywhere. Ugh, throw that back in there. This might do it. I'm gonna go get my ice cream scoop. Okay, I couldn't find my ice cream scoop, so we're just gonna use a spoon instead. Uh, get that out of there. Now we're just gonna try and make this uh, very ice cream shaped. Oh wow, this actually kinda does look like ice cream. <gasps> I forgot the food coloring. Here we go. They used red, so I'm gonna go ahead and also use red. That ought to do it. I think I probably used way too much, but oh well. Mix, mix, mix. Got a lot more mixing to do. See you guys on the other side. This kind of looks like ground beef now, actually. Get a little bit more water. Yeah, I don't know how I'm feeling about this one. I'm adding so much food dye. Okay, I think this is as good as we're gonna get. So, time to break out our cones. So we're just gonna go ahead and take a scoop. Okay, here we go. Get in there. I mean, this kind of looks like ice cream. This could almost pass. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to say that this looks pretty legit. Yeah, not bad. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. What do I do with this now? Uh, well, might as well try it. <laughs> that was disgusting. Nope, nope, bad idea, bad idea. So for this one, I'm gonna need a can of Coke that uh, just won't open. Now, I'm gonna try my best to make it so that this just kind of falls off, but no promises. Maybe I could just cut it off. Let's see. Woo, it worked! Yeah, don't need this anymore. Now we need some chopsticks. Here are our chopsticks. We really only need one, so now we're just gonna go ahead and poke this, I guess, until it opens. That was terrifying. I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need a minute. Oh my god. Well, I guess we can say this works! How am I supposed to just... Yep, still good. So for this, we're gonna need a toilet paper roll. Oh, perfect, this will do. Okay, I need to get all this toilet paper off. That way I can get this roll. Perfect! Don't need that anymore. Then we get our scissors and just kind of fold that down. Yeah, cut a little notch in it like that. Cool! Yeah, looks good. Now let's see if it'll hold our phone. Wow! I wasn't expecting that to happen. Well, guys, I guess we could say it works! <laughs> Unfortunately, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know that walnuts are a seasonal thing, so they didn't have them at the store. Instead, I got these pistachios. We're gonna go ahead and look for one of those difficult pistachios that just won't open. Same thing as a walnut, kind of, right? I mean, ooh, this one's already open. Let's see how unlucky I got with this bag. Yeah, this one's looking a little promising. Can I do it with my fingers? Oh, yeah, I could break that one with my fingers. Oh, I think we found one. Sweet, we got one that's not completely open. Let's try it. I also don't want to go outside and use the gate because it's dark out there because it's nighttime. So we're gonna go ahead and just use my door right here. Okay, so here's our nut. Let's put it in here and hope that I don't break my fingers. Here we go. One, two, and... It exploded! I guess that I was a little too much for it. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna say that this one works, but it's very impractical, so I wouldn't really recommend it. <laughs> Here's our soap dispenser. Here are our two cups. So here's how much we get without the rubber. Oops. So here's how much we get without the rubber band. That's one squirt. That's not bad. I feel like you guys are overreacting. Like, that's enough soap for me. I think that's fine. Anyway, let's go ahead and wrap this around. Now time to put some soap in this bad boy. Ready? One, two, and. Oh yeah, that's definitely less. Can't really see too well, but it, it's definitely less. Well guys, I guess we can say it works. Okay, so here's our watermelon. First thing we gotta do is we gotta take the cap off this coat. Then we cut holes that are about the size of it. Like this. Okay, first one. Now the second one. Now time to actually take it out. Put that in. Come on, get out of there. Woo! 
I did it. Okay, next one. Get out of there. Come on. Okay, now I gotta somehow get this Coke in here without spilling it everywhere. Maybe if I just, uh, like that. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's getting everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man. I freaking knew this was gonna happen. Maybe I have to just make sure that the hole is deep enough. There we go. Okay, try this again. And then just slowly but surely. Oh my god, it's getting everywhere. I think this side is as full as it gets. Now time for this side. Stay in there. Okay, this is actually getting everywhere. This better be some good watermelon when I'm done. I'm just gonna let this all kind of leak out. I feel like none of it is actually going into the watermelon. Oh, I just got it stuck on my camera. Oh my god, This is so messy. Oh crud, it's getting, oh. Okay, don't know what this is, but I'm just gonna let that soak in there while I clean this up. Okay, so now I gotta cut this bad boy in half. There's gonna be coke all over the place. I don't remember watermelon being this hard to cut. Come on. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, this looks like a good watermelon. Now we're gonna get our scooper and then just start scooping these balls out. Yeah. That is some juicy watermelon, my friends. Yeah, so I'd say we've gotten enough. Let's start making these kebabs. Okay, so we got some raspberries here. Got some strawberries. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna start off with a strawberry. We're gonna get one of our wonderful watermelon balls, which is totally a ball. Raspberry, more watermelon. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, let's try this puppy out. I can definitely taste some of the Coke in this. I mean, if I did the watermelon balls right, this would have probably looked really nice. But, you know, it is what it is. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Here's our water. Let's go ahead and let that boil for a sec. Okay, now I gotta cut the tips off of these. Uh, uh, okay, that's way harder than I thought it would be, so I'm just gonna break it off. Get that off of there. Come on, get off of there. This just doesn't wanna come off. Anyway, we'll just throw that one in there. Oh no, it doesn't fit. Maybe we can cut this one off now. Where did that go? Okay, I'll get that later. Let's go ahead and let this boil for a little bit. Okay, so these have been uh, in there for about two minutes now, and they are very bendy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out. Just uh, throw them. Okay, one, and a two, uh, and a two. Get out of here. Okay, now let's hope that these aren't too hot for me to touch. Okay, yeah, bending pretty good. Then we get the next one. Oh, not bad. Okay, one down. No time for this one. And, oh, this one's almost broken. There we go. Yeah, these look good. Let's try these puppies out. So here's where I hang my clothes. Let's go ahead and try these. So we just put it right there. Nope, that one didn't work. Try that one. Uh, that one didn't work either. You know, I just want to point out that toothbrushes are kind of expensive. Like, I know you can buy them at the dollar store, uh, but a pack of hangers like this is like three bucks. So I, I just don't see any point in getting like a bunch of toothbrushes just to do this. So I guess we can say this one doesn't work. So here's our jar. Let's just start burning some crayons, shall we? So let's start out with the green. Actually, we're supposed to put something underneath it like this. There we go. Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay, here we go. So far, it's working. Okay, this is gonna take way too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick out my blowtorch. Oh man, this is a little bit more dangerous than I thought it would be. Very effective, though. I'm gonna go ahead and use some fire so I don't burn myself. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, so that's uh, one down. I feel like this is gonna take a while, so uh, bear with me, guys. I also forgot to add a wick, so. So next one, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest here, guys. Uh, my attention span is not long enough to keep doing this. I have to wait for it to dry every single time, otherwise it kinda just becomes one big mess. I don't know if you can see it inside, but it's pretty freaking bad inside. So, uh, I mean, it's kind of a candle, but this is just gonna take forever to make, so I guess we're just gonna go ahead and say that this will work. <laughs> Here's our onion. Let's just cut that in half real quick. Woo! There we go. Now let's see if this works. Wow. It's actually, <gasps> it's actually kind of working. Oh my gosh. I could just do super long like onion pieces now. Dude, that's so cool. This actually works. You can actually cut little onion pieces like that. That's cool. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to have this one work.
Okay, so here's our strainer thing. Okay, so I actually bought three different types of muffins. These are from Walmart. These are from 7-Eleven. And these are also from Walmart, but they're a brand called Little Bites. As you can see, I already ate three of these because, you know, I was I was hungry. There we go. First one. I'm just going to take that out, put that in there. Just like that. And it looks like uh, there is no mysterious fibers. Well, there are little blueberries. So I guess that this one uh, doesn't have it. Now let's try the 7-Eleven muffins. Okay, pop that out, put that in there. Okay, here we go. I feel like a miner. I'm just sifting for gold. Okay, so this time it was only chocolate chips, which I mean it is a chocolate chip muffin, so that one's a no-go. Now let's try the mini bites. Oh, this comes in a little package. That's cool. Here, there. We'll try a couple of these. Now these definitely aren't as good as the other ones. Let's try it. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything besides blueberries in this one as well. So I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work, guys. There aren't little fibers and muffins. Maybe I should try different brands. I've only tried three, but in these three there are no fibers, so these are good. So here's our ramen. I just cooked it just for you. Here's our hair straightener. Now let's see if we can decongeal some of these nudes. Is congealed a word? Congealed. Having become semi-solid, especially on cooling. Okay, cool. Yeah, I used that word right. Let's see if we can decongeal this. I don't know if decongeal is a word, but let's see if we can. Yeah, so here we go. Maybe if I line them up. So I gotta line them up properly too. Okay, give me a second here, guys. Okay, here we go. Now we're just gonna. Oh, that does not sound good. Oh, this was an awful idea. Okay, let's keep going. I mean, it's slowly making them straighter, actually. If I do this, though, it's gonna take so long. Just like straightening my hair. How many of you is this triggering right now? Oh my goodness. This is so weird. Why am I doing this? Oh, we have one breaking off. That's what happens to your hair if you straighten it too much. Maybe if I just do it in, like, sections like this. I'm just gonna do it really slow. Okay, so weirdly enough, this is kind of working. So I've been working at this for like five or six minutes now, uh, and it looks like they're pretty solid. I mean, they're not perfectly straight, but dude, that's kind of weird. It's not as perfectly straight as it is in the video, but I mean, it's still pretty straight. So uh, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. I just want to start out by saying one thing. This is a $5 thing at Walmart that you can buy. That is 100% true. But this pocket juice that I bought at Walmart is $8. So already, if you would have spent three more dollars, you could have gotten this. So let's see if whatever this thing that we're about to make is better than this. Okay, so first things first, we got to take this thing apart. Let's get our pliers. And then they just kind of ripped it out like that. Oh, mine has a little screw in it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the screw really quick. Here we go. There we go. So that's a part, and then we take this apart. So this part just apparently screws off like that. And that just comes apart. Awesome, we took it apart successfully. Next, all we're gonna need is a $20 soldering iron. So the price of this just went to $25. So far, I'm not really seeing how this could be better than this. Before we start, let's get the wires for this. This is an old telephone cable that I had just laying around somewhere. If you take this apart, there's little wires inside. There we go, and just strip these apart. Oh, cut a little too much off of that one. So apparently we just get a little bit of solder. Oh man, I really hope I don't burn myself on this one. If I burn myself with a hot glue gun, it's not too bad. But if I burn myself with a soldering iron, oh, that's gonna be awful. I think if I remember anything from my metal shop class, you get the metal that you're trying to solder nice and hot. You put the solder on. God, this is so scary. I haven't done this in forever. Oh, I'm like actually kind of terrified right now. My metal shop teacher would be laughing at me right now. There we go. That almost fell on my finger. God, this is such a pain. I really hope it's worth it. There we go. I think I actually did it. And it says that I'm supposed to do the same thing to this side. There we go. Okay, cool. We got it all soldered. We're gonna take our nine volt battery. I don't have one of those connector terminals because uh, they don't sell them anywhere near me. So I'm just gonna put it on here directly. So the middle one is positive. So we're just gonna attach it like that. Gotta figure out how to keep it on. There we go. I didn't need that dumb terminal thing anyway. So we're just gonna plug this guy in right there. And we're gonna plug my phone in. Okay. Okay, so when I touch this to this, it should theoretically charge my phone. <gasps> it's lighting up. It's charging my phone! Oh my gosh, it's working! I'll try it one more time, and a one, two, and... It charged my phone! Well, guys, I guess we can say it works! I mean, it still doesn't make any sense to just not buy one of these instead of, like, buying one of these and going through all the trouble of doing this. But, I mean, it works! So I guess that's all that really matters. It works.
is he doing? Okay, so before we start this one, I just want to say that I feel like this one is kind of unsafe. You should never put a bag over your face. That is so dangerous. That's how people suffocate, okay? So guys, don't do that, please. And that's why I'm going to do it so you guys don't have to. So I guess they just kind of put the bag over their face like like Santa. So now I look like Santa. Oh. Then I'm going to tuck it in my ears just like that and put my beanie over it maybe. So, uh, so just like this, I guess. Then we're going to get our sunflower seeds. Okay, guys, I'm going to get a big handful. Nah. Here's some good sunflower seeds, I'll tell you what. Okay, I'll touch it, you ready? <laughs> okay, cool. We got it all in the bag. Well, guys, I guess we say that this one works. gonna go ahead and use this thing to stand the watermelon up straight. I feel like this is gonna be a very lengthy process, so bear with me, guys. First one done. Two. Three. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put these all on. Oh, my gosh. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Well, that is what it is. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen. Twenty, twenty one. Twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Come on. Ugh. Thirty one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. Thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty. Oh. Forty one, forty two. 43, 44, 45, 46. Oh my God. Woo! 47, 48, 49, 50. One, oh. 52, this kind of reminds me of the time that I uh, made a giant rubber band ball. Let's 
61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Sixty-six, sixty-seven, starting to squish a little bit. 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 3, A4, A5. Okay. A6, A7, A8, A9, 90. One, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Woo! Ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Woo! One oh one, one oh two, one oh three, one oh four, one oh five. One oh six, one oh seven, one oh eight, one oh nine, one ten. One twelve, one thirteen, one fourteen, one fifteen. One sixteen, one seventeen, one eighteen, one nineteen, one twenty. One twenty one, one twenty two. 123, 124, 125. Oh, my back is starting to hurt. And my hands, my hands are really starting to hurt. 126, 127, 128, 129, 131, 132, 141, 
This thing is definitely starting to get misshapen now. Oh my God, I think it's gonna bust. Oh my God, this is scary. I think it's about to go. Oh man. This is kind of scary. Do I keep going? What do I do? Oh, I hear it's more. God, don't explode on me. This is so scary. 151, I think that's where I was. Oh God, 152. 153. 150. Four. Oh my gosh. 150. Five. Oh gosh, this thing looks like it's about to go. 156. Am I still recording? Yes, I am. 157. Oh my gosh. 158. I'm gonna zoom this in a little bit. Woo! One fifty nine. Oh my God! This thing looks like it's about to bust. One sixty. One sixty one. One sixty two. Sixty-four. One sixty-five. Okay, on our third pack. One sixty-six. One sixty-seven. One sixty. Eight. I heard more cracking. 169. 170. 171. 172. Oh my God. 173, 174, 175, 176, 177, 178, 179. This is kind of terrifying. I don't know if you can see it. 180. 181. 182. 183. 184. 185, 186, 187, 
190. Oh, I heard something. 191, 192, 193, 194, 195, 196, 201, 202, I'm going to do three, four, five, two hundred and five. Come on, just explode already. 206, 207, 208, 209, 210. I'm just going to start doing it by fives again. Two eleven, two twelve, two thirteen, two fourteen, two fifteen. Two sixteen, two seventeen, two eighteen, two nineteen, two twenty. Twenty one, two twenty two, two twenty three, two twenty four, two twenty five, two twenty six, two twenty seven, two twenty eight, two twenty nine, two thirty. Oh man, this thing looks like it's about to bust. Thirty-one. Oh my gosh. Two thirty-two. Two thirty-three. Two forty thirty-four. Oh. I hear it. Two thirty-five. Two thirty-six. Oh. I'm gonna move it on to this thing. 236. 237. 238. 239. 240. 241, 242, 243, 244, 245. Oh. 246. 247. 248. Okay, last package. Oh no. 249. 
240, oh no, 246. I'm gonna put this down so that it doesn't rock so much. Two forty-seven. I don't know if this thing's actually gonna bust. Two forty-eight. Two forty-nine. Two fifty. Two fifty one, two fifty two, two fifty three, two fifty four. Two fifty seven, two fifty eight, two fifty nine, two sixty. One, two sixty two. This thing like already broke open. Two sixty three, two sixty four, two sixty five, two sixty six. 267, 268, oh, it's getting close, 269, oh my gosh, 270, oh my god, I think it's about to go, ah! I did it! And it only took 270 rubber bands. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Woo! Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It looks like this fire right down there. Down in the comments down below, tell me what the worst ingredient to put on pizza is. I'll read a couple of my favorite ones in the next video. If you guys want to watch me do even more fun five-minute craft stuff, I have a whole playlist of me doing that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want the shirt, some stickers, or any of my other merch, you can click right here or down in the description down below. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm Renetti. Okay, bye.